I'm going to go ahead and read this to everybody because not everybody uh, wants to. Some people like audiobooks, right? And some people have poor eyesight. I am actually one of those people, but I'm going to do my best for you. Why does this matter to me so much? Because these this network has been working against me since 2018. And so I've tried to run for assembly delegate twice. I've run for central committee once. And every single time this particular network gets involved, throws out smear campaigns, and ruins the chances of other progressive Democrats from getting a seat at the table. One of their other victims was on my wall last night who has also faced smear campaigns from this group. So um, so uh, kudos CDP, I think you did the right thing. Uh, what they were doing is uh, completely shady. You can't be a group of progressives saying that we're gonna get money out of politics while they're literally doing financial scandals on the side. All right, let's see if I can um, make this large enough. Oh, I might have to go to the actual site because my screenshots are too hard for even me to read, right? Uh, hang on a second. Let's see if I can find this. Because I did screenshot it from their site. And I think it starts on page 32. Um... E-board, rules committee. Let's see if we can pull this up. Actually, I think I just, when I searched it initially, I just did KDM E-board. And then <clears throat> the meeting minutes were kind of near the top, I think. Okay, general session, floor report, agenda. So the floor report is where I found it. And I think that's where, yeah, I found it. Here, and it starts on page 31. I was looking at it on my phone, so it looks a little different, but it's easier to read, which is nice. Let's see if I can get down to page 31. At 25. Okay, so here's what happened. Uh, this has been going on for a while. So, MSP to adopt the technical amendments, the stipulated agreement between the subcommittee on caucuses and the progressive caucus addressing the violation of CDP bylaws and guidelines for the certification, recertification, decertification of caucuses. So they're referencing some bylaws. Okay. <clears throat> Report of the subcommittee on caucuses concerning, let me make sure I'm, oh, did I hit something? I did hit something. My apologies. I didn't mean to. Okay. Try that again. I want to make sure I'm not covering up the speaker because I, apparently I've been doing that lately when I hold my phone. Um, a report of the subcommittee of on caucuses concerning charges against the Progressive Caucus adopted on June 29th, 2021. This year. The California Democratic Party received two complaints that the Progressive Caucus was in violation of the CDP bylaws and guidelines for the certification, recertification, decertification of caucuses. Adopted by the CDP Rules Committee, February 2018. Number one, the first complaint was from Jody Pratt and was received on March 14, 2021. And number two, the second complaint was received from a person who chooses to remain anonymous and was received on March 23, 2021. At its meeting on April 30th, 2021, the CDP Rules Committee referred these two complaints to its subcommittee on caucuses, subcommittee, for disposition in accordance with Article 11, Section 6 of the CDP bylaws, which provides 
Section 6, Decertification. After notice and an opportunity to be heard and upon finding by the Rules Committee that a certified caucus has failed to A, maintain compliance with the above, B, adopt or maintain the code of conduct as part of its own bylaws with a provision that each member is bound by its terms and or C, has willfully, intentionally, or repeatedly failed to address violations of the code of conduct. Turn the sound off. Where was I? Has willfully, intentionally, or repeatedly failed to address violations of the code of conduct within the caucus. The executive board of this committee may de decertify a caucus by majority vote. In the event, the rules committee should make a finding of noncompliance with the guidelines. It shall report a recommendation to decertify the caucus, specifically noting the grounds and basis for its decision. Such recommendations may only be overturned by the executive board of this committee by majority vote, but only if the executive board makes specific findings that the rules committee was incorrect in each of its findings that formed the basis of the rules commit rule committee's recommendation to decertify or that all such defects have been remedied. In accordance with Article 11, Section 6 of the CDP bylaws, two days of hearings were conducted by the subcommittee. The exhibits admitted in those two days are hearing of hearing are part of the agenda packet. At the close of the second day of the hearing, the subcommittee unanimously adopted the attached report. The report concludes that the Progressive Caucus violated Article 8, Sections 1, D, E, and F, Article 11, Section 2A and 6 of the CDP bylaws and Section 4D6D1 of the guidelines, and the subcommittee recommends that the Rules Committee so conclude. Based on a finding of one or more violations of the bylaws and or guidelines, decertification is warranted. Accordingly, the subcommittee recommends that the Rules Committee find that decertification is warranted unless remediation, as discussed below, is undertaken and completed. Under Article 11, Section 6, a determination that decertification is warranted can be overcome by a showing that all such defects have been remedied. Accordingly, the subcommittee recommends that the Rules Committee find that the steps outlined here and below would constitute a full remedying of the violations recommended to be found here. The proposed re remedies are A. The Progressive Caucus shall cause the termination of the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC. One under A. Any remaining funds in the California Democratic Party PAC at the time of termination shall be returned to the donors in accordance with applicable state law. Number two, each returned contribution shall be accompanied by a cover letter approved as to form and content by the lead co chairs of the Rules Committee, indicating that despite the name, the funds raised or expended were not authorized by the California Democratic Party, the letter shall also indicate that the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC expended funds in connection with the candidacy of candidates not endorsed by the California Democratic Party, which is conduct the CDP considers to be inconsistent with the use of the California Democratic Party's name. Number three, a letter approved as to form and content by the lead co-chairs of the Rules Committee shall be sent to any donor to the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC who did not receive a refund, indicating that despite the name, 
the funds raised or expended were not authorized by the California Democratic Party. <laughs> the letter shall also indicate that the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC expended funds in connection with the candidacy of candidates not endorsed by the California Democratic Party, which is conduct the CDP considers to be inconsistent with the use of the California Democratic Party's name. Number four, a letter approved as to form and content by the lead co-chairs of the Rules Committee shall be sent to any candidate supported or opposed. So I should be getting a letter, bitches. I should be getting a letter, bitches. <laughs> a letter approved as to form and content by the lead co-chairs of the rules committee shall be sent to any candidate supported or opposed by the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC, indicating that despite the name, can't even with you guys, the funds raised or expended were not authorized by the California Democratic Party. The letter shall also indicate that the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC expended funds in connection with the candidacy of candidates not endorsed by the California Democratic Party, which is conduct the CDP considers to be inconsistent with the use of the California Democratic Party's name. Number five, a copy of all letters sent along with the names and addresses to which they were sent will shall be filed with the secretary of this committee. Oh my God, it's going to be thousands of people, you guys. They're going to have to write thousands of letters. <laughs> my God, you guys. A copy of all letters sent with the addresses redacted shall be posted on the web page of the Progressive Caucus. Oh my God. Wow, they are going to publicly shame you and rightfully so. Provided that nothing herein shall require the posting of the name of any contributor to the California Democratic Party Progressive Caucus PAC of an amount that did not trigger public reporting of the contributor's name. Okay, so it's the people who donated, I probably like more than like 200 or 300 bucks. So they're going <laughs> to... They are. They're going to expose the donors, you guys. They're going to expose your donor list. Oh, my God. This is so great. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. All right. Number uh, B under that. That was the sixth bullet. B. The Progressive Caucus will amend its bylaws to provide that the Progressive Caucus will not form, maintain, contribute to, materially support, or otherwise materially participate in the governance, fundraising, or expenditures of any political committee other than the California Democratic Party. Because <laughs> that is the point. They were circumventing. They were. Um, they created their own link. People were using their own link to sign up for the caucus and vote, and they were circumventing the party for which they are a caucus to. And that's the entire point. You, you, you're you a caucus of a larger party, and those dues are supposed to go through the party and then get distributed out to the caucuses to support their caucuses. But this is, you can't just, this is the shit they've been doing with our revolution too, you guys, and they're trying to get in with PDA and do it that way too. Okay, so that was B. C, the Progressive Caucus shall pass a standing rule reiterating that any motion, resolution, or other effort to endorse or provide other material support of any kind to a person other than the officially endorsed candidate of the Demo California Democratic Party or the nominee of the Democratic National Committee for President Oh, okay. Uh, um, yeah, they're like, you're part of the party. You have to fall in line. You've got, you can't support, you can't support the opposition. Ah, wow. Or vice president. 
is out of order and shall not be considered. Nothing in the rules of, because you know what, that's what happened last time. They, they got decertified the, the last time around because um, Karen apparently like put some sort of like resolution or motion or statement. I think it was a resolution um, uh, rejecting President Barack Obama's reelection endorsement. That's how they got decertified the first time around. Okay. All right. So, um, so they remember that and they threw that in here, uh, is out of order and should not be considered. Nothing in the rules shall pro prohibit the progressive caucus from calling on the California democratic party to take an action otherwise authorized by article 11, section one, a of the CDP bylaws. Dude. Oh my God. They got spanked. They got spanked yesterday. Y'all. All right. D the Progressive Caucus shall provide the lead co-chairs of the Rules Committee and the chair and vice chair of the rule, Rules Committee's subcommittee on caucuses a report 30 days after the August 2021 executive board meeting of the steps taken to fulfill these obligations and shall file a status report each 30 days thereafter until the termination of the current caucus certification cycle. Oh, so this is going, oh, this is going to be going on for a long time. This is going to, uh, certifying that the caucus is in compliance with all the remedial conditions, including that no charges have been made to the required standing rule and bylaws amendment. Oh my God, you guys, they got so spanked. E, for the balance of the current caucus certification cycle the progressive caucus certification shall be converted back to provisional and any failure to implement or abide by these remedial requirements shall be grounds for revocation of provisional status and the resumption of decertification proceedings so basically they have to comply with everything and they have to report on it every 30 days and if they fail to do any of that, gone. Caucus is gone. Right now they are uh, provisional status. Prior to the second day of hearing, the Progressive Caucus signed a stipulation in which it did not oppose the adoption of the report and stipulated to the foregoing remedies. The stipulation was received into the record uh, as Exhibit S and was expressly accepted by the subcommittee. So they've agreed to uh, abide by these rem remedies. Um, and that, that that's where it stops. The rest of the page is uh, about other stuff. So that's where, um, yeah, it, it, um, they finally, finally got called out on their bullshit. Finally got cold, called out on their bullshit, and they're going to have to admit to every single one of us, me too, that you guys misrepresented yourselves. You mis misrepresented the party. That you absolutely fucked with our ADEM election process, with our central committee process, with our leadership election process. That you guys did this every fucking time. That you've done this with our candidates who are running for congressional offices and other state positions and federal positions. Thousands of people. You have to contact thousands of people. And you know what? They're not all in California, y'all. These people have been also courting donations outside of the state. This is going to be very, very interesting. I'm glad that this is collapsing because this... This ecosystem, it's all connected. This will impact the Nick Brana MPP network as well because they're all in bed together. This will impact the Jimmy Dore network and his live stream ecosystem because a lot of the power players all live up in LA and they all hang out together. Very interesting development. And it's not like I haven't been saying it was going to happen for several months now. So here we are. They are on tenterhooks. They have to fix this or poof, progressive caucus in the largest economy, <laughs> the fifth largest economy in the world, the largest congressional delegation 
to uh, D.C., the largest delegation to the DNC. We have the most amount of representation in the California Democratic Party, and we have the largest representation in Congress in the House. Not the Senate, obviously, but in the House. And this is the kind of financial scandal bullshit that progressives who supposedly want to get money out of politics have been pulling on us 